In which language am I speaking right now? English. Which language do you supposed to use in school? English. English. Right. Assalamu alaikum and a very good afternoon to one and all. I am Hira Asif, school sports captain. I am here to make you aware about the importance of learning English language. We may think why are we learning English language in India or why should we speak English in India? It is a needed tongue which is more important. Why should we accord a holier than thou status to English when our Indian languages are much more ancient and have a rich cultural heritage? Do we use English simply because it was imposed on us by our culinary, culinary masters? No, we all know that's not the reason. We have been independent for past 68 years and we had ample of opportunities to discard English. In fact, the government even tried that, but they failed. Why? Because English is the most commonly spoken language in the world. One out of five people in, uh, can one out of five people can speak or at least understand English. English is the la language of science. It's the it's the language of aviation, computers, diplomacy, and tourism. Knowing English increases your chances of getting a good job in a multinational company within your home country or of finding books abroad. English is the official language of 53 countries. That is a lot of people to meet and speak to. If you speak English, you won't need to rely on uh, you won't need to rely on translation and subtitles and you won't to enjoy your favorite books, songs, films. English is also the language of the internet. Many websites are written in English. English, you will be able to understand them. And you can't even imagine internet without English. English is based on a simple uh, alphabet and is fairly quick and easy to learn compared to other languages. Since English is spoken in so many different countries, there are thousands of schools around the world that, uh, that, uh, that offer programs in English. Even our school provides the opportunity to learn English language. So, if you speak English, there's a good uh, there's a good lot of opportunities for you to find an appropriate school and course to suit your academic needs. By learning English, you'll also learn about others' culture. The experience will make you grow as a person more than learning the values, habits, and a way of life in a culture that is different from yours. So what is a language? Language is the way, only way by which we can express our emotions, thoughts, desire, ideas, feelings, etc. If you look at the glorious thing man has achieved today, we can see the great role played by common language that connects the whole world. And that language is none other than English. It has united us as Indians. It has united us in international universal brotherhood. In a diverse country like India, can we begin to claim that one language is superior to another? That would have created many problems. So the first Prime Minister of India, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, very wisely decided to retain English as an official language and as a link language. English has been a great unifier in the Indian subcontinent. Has the decision helped us? Yes, in many ways. Today, Indians occupy the highest position in the multinational companies, in the research programs, and even in the political and administrative setups in most countries. Recently in Canada, Defence Minister appointed in the new government is a non-resident Indian. And if you ask me, there is no other way he could have reached his position in the government without being fluent in English. Once you know English, you have a global approach. One language connecting us all, and that is English. If there is an explorer in you, then English is your key. Travel wider and know more places, unless your goal is to remain within 40 kilometers where you were born or throughout your life. It broadens the entertainment spectrum, Hollywood, English music. Why would you ever want to miss out on such a huge body of fun and mind expressing stuff? Stop behaving like a frog in a well. This world is not about forcing people, it's about convincing them. With English, you'll be able to better market yourself and here comes the role of soft power. And now tell me, which nation is India's biggest comp competitor in terms of economy and size? Yes sir, this is China. 
China has emerged as the largest manufacturer in the world. Its cities are more modern than Indian cities. Its health and education are better than ours. And Sporting, you all will agree that China fares much better than India, India in international sporting events. So, you would imagine that India has to learn a lot from China. But, here comes the surprise. The Chinese are trying to learn something from us. They are they're trying to learn how to teach English as a second language in Chinese school. Can't believe this? Let me give you a few facts. India is the largest service provider in the world. That means more Indians are found working in foreign countries other than, na other than nations. That also means that Indian workers are preferred over Chinese workers because they know English and they are comfortable using that language while they are not. So we have to overtake them in the job market. Isn't this great service to the nation? I have another argument in favor of English language. English language is an all-encompassing language. It respects, it respects all other languages. It retains the word it likes from the languages. For example, from Hindi. English has used words like bazaar, jungle. In the jungle out there, how about karma? The Brahmins of the corporate worlds. And from Arabic, you have words like algebra, amir, albatross, alcohol, alpo, alpo, and so on and so forth. The contribution of French words in English is immense. Words like desespair and rendezvous make English so attractive. Words like tsunami, uh, origami, akibana are part of everyday language. The list is endless. Every linguistic tradition has found a place in English. No wonder this language has become the lingua franca of the world. In the end, I would like to round off my speech with talking about features in the language we find funny. What is this? Let's eat grandma. You want to eat grandma? No. We have to use a punctuation marks. Let's eat grandma. The child will say, come on grandma, grandma let's eat. English is a funny language. You all know that. You all know Justin Bieber? So these are some uh, British, and American and Australian accents. How they pronounce Justin Bieber? Oh, accent. This is what? They call it tomato and this is called, and they call it tomato. They call it tomato and they call it tomato. Uh, this is, uh, you are familiar with this, this is comma and full stop. Comma means let's slow down for here for a second. And uh, uh, full stop means you have to, you have to just, uh, you just, you just have to stop right now. This is a joke. When, uh, when, a, student, when a teacher told a student that give, me, give her example of pronoun, so she said who? Me? And the teacher said good, sit down. So I have one fact for you that words have lifespan that can range from fewer than 1000 years up to 20,000 years. That's why goodbye words, I will miss you. Assalamu alaikum, jazakallah khair.